Chemistry lecture number 53, molar mass of compounds. To find the molar mass of an ionic compound or a molecule, add the molar masses of the atoms in the compound. Let's find the uh, molar mass of C2H5OH, also known as ethanol. All right, so to start with, we have to count the number of, uh, of each type of atom in the compound. So in this compound, ethanol has two carbons and six hydrogens. See, five here and one there, so six hydrogens and one oxygen. And then we'll also need to take the uh, molar masses off the periodic chart and round them to three significant figures. And the reason we're rounding them to three significant figures is because in high school science labs the equipment is only accurate to uh, three significant digits most of the time. So that's the standard we'll use. All right, here we go. So ethanol has two carbons, and if you look on the periodic chart, it says 12.011, but we're only going to take the three significant figures, so we're going to write 12.0. Two times 12 is 24. Hydrogen, six hydrogens in the compound, and then hydrogen has a molar mass of 1.008. That's what it says on the periodic chart, but we're going to round that to three significant digits, so we're going to make that 1.01. .01. And then oxygen, there's one oxygen in uh, ethanol, and on the periodic chart, oxygen is listed as having a molar mass of 15.999 something, but we'll round that to three significant digits and round that to 16.0. So, if we were to add up the masses of all these, we'd end up with 46.06. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to round it to three significant digits, so this gets rounded to 46.1, three significant digits. And that's our answer, one mole of ethanol molar mass of ethanol, one mole of ethanol, has a mass of 46.1 grams. I have to give you a little bit of a warning though. <clears throat> Sometimes high school textbooks are not consistent in how they use significant figures or how they round. Well, as long as your answer is close to the answer in the book, uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, the book that I was using said, oh yes, we're rounding to three significant figures, and then they showed me a problem where they rounded to four, which wasn't very consistent. Anyway, let's go ahead and move ahead. Let's find the molar mass of uh, aluminum sulfate. <coughs> okay, aluminum, two aluminums, and on the periodic chart, aluminum is has a mass of 26.982, but we're going to round that to three significant figures, so 26.98 rounds to 27 if we do three significant digits, all right? Sulfur, three sulfurs. See this three out here? It's distributed to the sulfur, so there are three sulfurs. And then sulfur is listed as 32.066, but we'll round that to 32.1. Yeah, 32.066 rounded to three significant digits, 32.1. Three times 32.1 gives me 96.3. And then oxygen, 12 oxygens. 4 times 3 gives me 12 oxygens. So there are 12 oxygens in this molecule. 12 times 16. Remember, this was originally 15.999, but we round it to three significant digits. 12 times 16 gives me 192. And then if we add all that together, we'll get 342.3. And then since we're going to round to three significant digits, this rounds to 342. All right, so one mole of aluminum sulfate weighs 342 grams. <coughs> We're going to do some conversion problems. What is the mass of 2.5 moles of C2H5OH? So this is a conversion problem. We're given moles and we're going to convert to mass or we're going to convert to grams. If they ask for mass, they're asking for grams. We're going to go from moles to grams. Previously, we had solved that one mole of C2H5OH is 42.6 grams. So we're going to use that value again. One mole of C2H5OH is 46.1 grams. So we take the number we want to convert, write it as a fraction, 2.50 moles C2H5OH, and put that over one. All right, I've got moles of C2H5OH on top. I want to get rid of it. So I need to put moles of C2H5OH on the bottom, one mole. C2, H5OH on the bottom, and then 46.1 grams C2, H5OH on top. All right, moles of C2, H5OH cancel, and I'm left with grams of that. So 2.5 times 46.1 
uh, it's going to give me 115.25. We're going to round it to three significant digits because that's how many significant digits we have here. So round it to three significant digits, that just gives me 115 grams C2H5OH. So 2.5 moles of ethanol has a mass of 115 grams. <coughs> Calculate the number of moles of aluminum sulfate in uh, 1460.34 grams of aluminum sulfate. Now in this problem, we're given grams, but we want to convert it to moles. Well, we're going to take the answer from a previous problem. In this problem here, we figured out that one mole of aluminum sulfate is 342.3, and we're going to use that to convert grams into moles. All right, so take the number we want to convert, 1460.34 grams of aluminum sulfate. Put that over one. All right, so that's what they give us. That's what we start with. I want to go from grams to moles. I have grams on top. I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to have to put grams of aluminum sulfate on the bottom. So 342 grams of aluminum sulfate is equivalent to a mole of aluminum sulfate. All right, grams of aluminum sulfate cancel. You're left with moles of aluminum sulfate on top. This number divided by that number, that should give me 4.27 grams of aluminum sulfate. All right, so if you have that many grams of aluminum, oh, sorry, moles. <laughs> okay, so if you have that many grams of aluminum sulfate, you have 4.27 moles of aluminum sulfate. How many C2H5OH molecules are in a 60.4 or 60 gram sample? So in this problem, they give us grams and they ask for molecules. So to convert from grams to molecules, we're gonna to have to go from grams into moles and then moles into molecules. Anytime you go from grams to moles or moles to grams, you need to know how much one mole of it weighs. Well, previously we figured that out. One mole of ethanol is 46.1 grams. And you need to remember that one mole of Anything is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules or formula units. All right, so let's set this up. 64, oh yeah, 60.4, sorry, grams, C2H5OH. Okay, I wanna go from grams to moles. I have grams on top, I wanna to get rid of it. So I'll put 46.1 grams down here, C2H5OH, makes a mole, C2H5OH. Okay, so I've gone from grams to moles. Now what I wanna do, I wanna go from moles to molecules. I have moles on top, I wanna get rid of it, so I need to put moles on the bottom. A mole, C2H5OH is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of C2H5OH. Oops. All right. Okay. So, grams of C2H5OH cancel moles of C2H5OH cancel, and you're left with molecules of ethanol. So 60.4 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, divided by 46.1, that should give us 7.89 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of c 2 h 5 OH. Okay, so if you have that many molecules of ethanol, it'll weigh 60.4 grams. 
What is the mass of 5.26 times 10 of the 21 formula units of aluminum sulfate? And remember, we can't call this a molecule because it's an ionic compound. If it's an ionic compound, they don't exist as molecules. They exist as uh, formula units. Okay, so in this case, we're given the number of formula units, so we're going to go from formula units, which I'm going to abbreviate as FUN. We're going to go from formula units to moles to grams because they're asking for mass. All right, so from the free previous problem, we take the mass of one mole of aluminum sulfate, and you should know that one mole of any ionic compound is that many formula units. Here we go. 5.26 times 10 to the 21 formula units. And I'm gonna omit, well, I guess I can write it, hold on. Al2. SO4, 3. All right. I have formula units on top. I want to go from formula units to molecules, so I want to get rid of the formula units. I'll put formula units on the bottom, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd formula units of Al2, SO4. And that gives you a mole of Al2SO4. Okay, so we've done the first part. We've converted formula units to moles. Now we want to go from moles to grams. I've got moles of aluminum sulfate on top. I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to write mole of Al2SO43 and then one mole of this stuff has a mass of 342 grams. All right, so I've gone from moles to grams. All right, so let's start canceling. I've got formula units of aluminum sulfate on top, which cancels with the formula units of aluminum sulfate on the bottom. I have moles of aluminum sulfate on top here, which cancels with the moles of aluminum sulfate on the bottom, and I'm left with grams of aluminum sulfate. So this number times that number, and then divide it by that number, you should get something close to 2.99 grams of Al2SO4. Okay, so what this means is that this many formula units of aluminum sulfate have that amount of mass. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number 53, molar mass of compounds.